aloe is one of the best, as you know, that the plants, the flowers, use for attracting the, the bees. But also, we have the scent, so the smell. Mm. We have also sometimes uh, the tactical chimney, which in this case, uh, for example, this orchid, uh, on the labellum here, which is uh, the, the leaf of the orchid, this modified petal, that uh, the function is for uh, actually as a platform for the insect landing. Mm. And uh, we can see that it has some hairs, mm. like the bee. So in this case, the bee recognizes a kind of another bee there. Mm. And so in this case, the signal are tactile. Sometimes uh, they are chemical, the pheromones. Mm. So the pheromones emitted by the insects, for example, and they are emitted as well by the orchids, but also electric. Scientists, some scientists discovered that uh, about uh, uh, eight years ago, discovered that uh, actually the flowers and the bees have an opposite polarity. So the bee as a positive pole. Instead, the flower has a negative one. But when uh, the bee pollinates uh, the flower, so it means that the uh, lens of the flower trans get the pollen on the body, on some part of the body, and then transfer the pollen on another plant, on another flower. This is a pollination. But when the fl flower has been already <coughs> pollinated, means that uh, already has received uh, the pollen from another flower, turns the polarity, and it, it turns into positive, from negative to positive. And the bees uh, just overlook, <laughs> just overlook because uh, they don't see anymore, because they just see if uh, they are negative. Because it means, uh, come here, because uh, I need to be pollinated from you, otherwise uh, they just uh, go on another flower. Mm. And this is a very clever strategy for uh, don't waste flies, don't waste uh, energy, both uh, for the flowers but for the bees mm. as well. Mm. So this is really amazing. So the signals, uh, as we need to say, are plenty. This is just some of them, the most important, but actually there are many others.